I want to do a video talking about Dalvin Cook because I feel like he isn't really getting the attention that he once was and I want to talk about, well, is he still as good as he once was? Well, if you look at the box score statistics, they don't really seem to be a, that massive of a drop off. They are lower. It is worth mentioning they are lower. In fact, it was the lowest uh, average yards per carry of his career, but still 4.4 is only a slightly lower than his you know career average of 4.7. Uh, again, didn't have the 16 touchdowns that he had in 2020, but that's a bit of an anomaly. You know, great players aren't going to get 16 touchdowns consistently. Uh, so, okay, uh, a tad lower than maybe you would expect or, or, or at least hope from Dalvin Cook. And in his sixth year, that's definitely a little concerning. Kind of the old expression is you usually get six years out of a good running back. Well, you know, you've gotten six years out of him. But still, at the same time, especially for a running back, box score stats just don't tell you that much, right? So much of it is dependent on the offensive line and how they block. Obviously, there's a, you know, the running back has an impact, but that's all they have on their stats is an impact. It's not something they completely control. So let's use maybe a different stat. Something like a pro football focus grade could be fascinating, and if you look at this, PFF actually says, yes, he has dropped off a bit in the last two years. He went from having an 89 grade in 2020 to now, uh, you know, having a sub-70 grade each of the past two years. Now, it's worth mentioning, a big part of that has been uh, stuff that isn't the running game. I mean, the running has still been, if you look at just the run grade, uh, it was above 70 in 2022, and, you know, 68 point eight in 2021 although still those are drop-offs from the 90 grade he posted in 2020 uh but not as big of a drop-off from the other years that they've graded him so okay that's what pff says that's what the box score stats say but you're here to to at least to some degree hear what i have to say do i think he's fallen off or do i think he's still just as good as he ever has been well, let's start off with this play. I think this play will kind of do a good job of showing where I think his career is currently at, which is, I think he's still good. Uh, I don't know if he's quite as good as he once was. I think both can be true. Like, it's just one example, and it's I'm using one example. Feel free to discredit it, because it is just one play at the end of the day. But I think it's a good example of showing, you know, uh, kind of maybe uh, just an example of what I feel like he would maybe do better you know, in a few years ago than he's doing right now. So the way the play is designed to work is it's going to be man coverage. And the idea is just to throw the ball to Dalvin Cook, who will be underneath. It's a third down. You have to get to the 46-yard line, uh, your opponent's 46-yard line, and it's going to work. Watch, right? When this play begins, I mean, you see this. the situation is working for Dalvin Cook. He is, you know, able to, uh, he's clearly about to make the catch here, and he has some room to run after the catch as well. So this is going to be a first down. That's, uh, you know, spoiler alert, he does get the first down in this play. That does happen. But again, for Dalvin Cook, a lot of times you feel like, oh man, this could be dangerous. This could be touchdown territory potentially. You know, makes the catch turns, puts on the Jets, and is able to run by. Keep in mind, it's a linebacker who is covering him on this play. So there's a, you know, good situation here. However, this time Dalvin Cook makes the catch. And again, I would say he does good work. He picked up the first down, got some yards after the catch. That's not a bad play. I just wonder if maybe the superstar plays from Dalvin Cook are not gone. They're for sure not gone, but maybe not uh, as prevalent as they used to be. Like, let's show this play, because again, I don't want this to be a negative video of Dalvin Cook. There's still plenty he does well. Like, again, Dalvin Cook was, uh, some people would have had him as, you know, one of the top three running backs in football at a specific period of time. So if he has lost a step, that does not mean he is a bad player by any means, where the way this play is designed to work is going to be a run to the offense's left, which is towards the right side of the screen. And, you know, one of the things I talk about is for running back, there's only so much you can do oftentimes because you are so dependent on your offensive line and how they block. However, on this play, the line blocks very well, and Cook is at, in a situation right here to where there's a defensive back who's coming in and trying to make the play, and really, I would say this is where Cook's main value still is, and it still exists even right now, which is why I'm still going to say he is a very good running back. Watch him be able to sidestep that defensive back and then blow by the safety. He's going to end up with a touchdown on this play. And this is what, when Cook is at his best, he can do is get these 70-yard touchdowns, right? Which not every running back can do. And while we talk a lot about what is the value of a running back and how valuable can a running back be, and I think some people would kind of say, well, 
okay, sure, this is a great play, but how often can you really do this over the course of a season? Two, three times? Like, it's, you know, it, it, this doesn't happen very often. And that might be true, but think about the value that Cook just added to his team right there. He went from them realistically having the ball maybe first and 10 around to 30. That's what an average running back would have done, or I guess it would have been around to 40 in that scenario. That's what he, you know, what you would have expected to happen. And no, I just corrected myself. Uh, 30 was correct. I, I don't, don't know why I got uh, confused. Anyways, yeah, uh, we would have around to 30 so first and 10 around to 30 we'll say the difference you know the point expectancy there is usually uh, it's, it's sort of around one and a half to two points that's how much you get when you have the ball in that scenario getting the ball into the end zone gives you the rest of those seven points technically 6.94 because you know missed extra points do happen but uh still uh we're talking about a swing of, of you know probably over five points on one specific play if you do a little bit of math the average team spends, to get five points, spends eight million uh, per those five points. So if you think about it that way, that's basically an eight million dollar play right there. A lot of the best running backs in football make that much. If you just do that twice a year, you're making your salary, even if you're the highest paid running back in the league. So this is partially where a running back can actually add a ton of value, I think. Isn't necessarily in turning five-yard runs into seven-yard runs, but more so stuff like this. And we still saw flashes of him really showing, you know, why he is still such an effective player. Something like this, which is going to be in the passing game. Right when this play begins, it's very simple, just a, you know, a check down route for him, nothing too fancy, but on this third down where you have to get to the 35-yard line, uh, he's got a lot of work to do, and, and he's, to be fair, he isn't going to do this. If you're sitting here saying, wow, how is he going to manage to pull that off? No way he could get close to the 35-yard line. You're right, he's not going to get to the 35-yard line. Instead, he makes a move and is going to get all the way to the 34-yard line. So, okay, didn't quite get the first down, but that's still a great play from Dalvin Cook and kind of just showcases what he still is very much capable of doing. So, again, does he have the explosiveness that he had at the beginning of his career? I don't think so. I think he's maybe gotten, I don't want to say lost a step. I think he's maybe lost like half of a step or something like that. And again, has been very banged up. It's possible it's just simply the injuries recently. And maybe with a full, you know, training camp, he'll get back to his, you know, full game shape. That's totally possible. Just because the expression is you get six years out of a running back doesn't mean you always only get six years out of a running back. And I want to show this play as well, because even if that speed continues to diminish, and even if that speed continues to get worse, there still is always going to be value in Dalvin Cook because of other stuff he does, like something like this, for example. Watch how he's going to go to the outside right here, but there's an Arizona player who's in position to try to make a tackle, so, you know, who cares? Well, watch how Cook is able to sidestep him, and he is able to pick up a first down on that play. Really good stuff from Cook, and these are the kind of things he's capable of. So, does Dalvin Cook still have it? Sure, he still has it. He's still a very good player. Again, if you want to say he's not as good as he once was, I think I might agree with you. But again, that was a really high uh, bar that he was at, and just falling one rung below that bar is still very good. So, that's kind of how I view him. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.